Hi everybody, welcome to the first official episode of Sewing with Allegra. Now some of you who've been watching my videos might be saying, Hey Allegra, you already did a sewing video with your new Brother HC1850 sewing machine. Yes, I did, but I decided that last video I was kind of focusing on making the bonnet, but I got a comment from somebody saying, hey, I thought maybe it would be cool if you could do something showing how to wind the bobbin. And that made me think that maybe I should start doing a series of sewing videos talking about this particular machine and then doing some fun projects with you. Quick caveat, I wanted to mention you really should go over and watch thoroughly the DVD that comes with your machine. The one that comes with the Brother HC 1850 is excellent. It goes over everything. And so if you're a little bit timid about using your machine for the first time, you don't know what to do, go to your DVD. But since we are on YouTube right now and you're looking up how to do a specific thing, let's get started doing the bobbin, winding it, and getting your machine ready so you can finally start sewing. First, plug in your machine and then turn on the power. Now you'll see that the power is on, and so then you're going to go ahead and lower the spool pin on the upper right hand of the machine and remove the spool cap. Now when I got my machine, the larger spool cap was the one I needed. The smaller one kept kind of flying off and when I was winding the bobbin, so use the bigger one if you can. And next, go ahead and put your thread on the spool pin, and um, then you're going to put your spool cap on after that. Make sure the thread is coming out from the bottom of the spool like that and then you're gonna go ahead and start doing the upper threading now this is where you're gonna grasp the thread with both hands and then you're gonna pull it taut so that'll make it easy to put the thread through the thread guide there next pass the thread through the thread guide cover just like that now pull the, the thread to the right Pass it under the hook of the bobbin winding thread guide and then wind the thread counterclockwise between the pretension discs, pulling it as far as possible. Let's get a closer look. Make sure to use a bobbin that goes with your machine. Place it on the bobbin winder shaft and slide it to the right. Take your thread to the bobbin and wind it several times and count in the actually in the clockwise direction. That's clockwise. Then pull the thread to the right to let the blade cut it. You'll see that right here. Adjust the speed on your machine. You'll see that here in a second, right there. Go ahead and adjust the speed. I, I try to do it at a medium. Now if you're gonna use the presser foot, plug it in the back. I don't use the presser foot, I just use the power on the front right there. To start winding and then once it starts kind of rubbing on that little piece there then you'll know to stop it and then cut the thread and then slide the bobbin winder shaft to the left and pull off your bobbin. Make sure to turn off the machine between moves especially right here. Now I am going to put the bobbin in there. I remove the cover and then you need to make sure to hold down the bobbin and then wind it to the left right there and then make the thread go through that guide and then it'll cut on the, on the blade. Go around the back and make sure the thread is going through properly so that you're going to get your proper tension on the bottom. It's kind of hard to see but you can kind of see it there. Now you're going to lower and that's the button to raise and lower your, your needle. I'm going to go ahead and raise it and then I'm going to lift my presser foot. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the upper, upper threading of the machine. And so I put the thread through just like we did before, but now I'm going to wind it down. You just follow the arrows really on your machine, it should tell you. And then right where I'm doing it right now, there's a little hook in there. It's kind of hard to see with the camera, but it moves when you uh, wind the, the wheel. Anyway, you want to get it through there. It's like a little hook in there. And you pull the thread down, and then we're going to go ahead and, oh, well, I'm still winding it as you can see. <clears throat> we're going to thread the needle, and this is kind of tricky. I hope you can see. I'm winding and 
putting the thread right through there. And then I'm gonna wind the, or put the thread, pass it through that hook, and then push down on that lever. And But you kind of hold the thread taut in front of the needle. It's kind of hard to see, I hope you can see it. Right in front of the hole of the needle. And then you push down on the lever and a little hook comes through. And then you kind of let go and then pull it through. I'll show you again with um, some slow motion and some different angles so you can see better. Winding the thread underneath the hook, and I pushed it down, and watch that hook go through. And it pulls it through. Let's show you again from another angle. And then you can use like a little needle or something to, to pull it through. And now your needle is threaded. So pull the thread down through the, pe the presser foot. Pull it about two inches or a little more towards the back of the machine. And we're going to draw the thread up from the bobbin. And so you can either use the wheel or the, the needle raising and lowering button on top. And you just push it once or twice and then it will pull the bottom thread up. Through. It just does it. You only need to do it once or twice. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below or come visit my website at bonnetbabes.com. So thanks again and thanks for watching Sewing with Allegra. Bye. Red Bone.